Devin Faraci with Badass Digest on Cinefix here in Park City, Utah for Sundance 2013. Uh, I'm joined now by Kathy Schulman, president of Women in Film and Mandalay Pictures. Uh, and you guys have just released a, a, a really interesting report about women in film, uh, fittingly enough for the name of the organization. And some of the stuff that you found out was that I mean, this is not that shocking, I guess, anybody with, with, with eyes, that women remain pretty underrepresented in movies. Uh, they're more represented in independent films, but that almost seems to me only by, 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 by dint of the fact that they're so underrepresented in Hollywood. Is, is, is that fair? Yeah, we did. We published um, the results of an, initi an initiative that um, women in film and Sundance um, started about a year ago okay. today and so this is the first stages and we began with a research project. The top line issue really is that we do know that men and women um, tend to be at a 50-50 equal split at the collegiate level and we know that by the time we get to the studios we have 9% um, of women in those roles. So we've somehow gone from 50 at the school level to 9 at the studio level and in between is independent film. And independent film is almost like on an actual sort of sliding scale that after you've had your first film, let's say at Sundance or at a major uh, market someplace or film festival around the world, why is it so hard to keep going as a filmmaker? Right. Uh, and that's what we focus the on. The number of women filmmakers who have a second feature, it, the, 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 it's, it's a drop, right? It's a, it's yeah, a precipitous drop. Yeah, it's, it's really a precipitous cliff. Yeah. I feel like this is, this is a problem that's going to take a little while to solve. Yes, I think it's going to take a long time to solve, and it's frustrating. I mean, when we look at feminism historically, so much has been done in so many areas. I find it fascinating that in the movie business, essentially, statistically, we've actually made zero change since 1998. Wow. That is an absolute statistical fact. We've had moments of, of rises and falls, but never within a margin of more than 3%. Wow. And we are the same. We're the same industry as we were in 1998 as it regards opportunities for right. women. But the amount of opportunities have you know, quadrupled or, or probably more. Um, but yet, why hasn't this changed? In a world where, like, I don't walk around every day thinking men hate women or men don't want to hire me. Right. What's going on? Is this just, like I say, is it ennui? Is it institutional? Is it worse? I don't know the answer. Thank yeah. you so much for coming by. This is Absolutely. such a fascinating subject. Uh, it's, it's so great that people are at least trying to do something about this. So that, I, that's incredible. So. Well, we're going to talk about it again on Friday in a uh, panel that Stacy Smith and I will do here at Sundance cool. and, and, and hear what the public has to say about cool. these things and maybe we'll get some good ideas. Well, hopefully. All right. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thanks for having me. I'm Devin Faraci. This is Badass Digest on Cinefix uh, here in Park City, Utah for Sundance 2013. Subscribe so you don't miss a single interview the whole week. Uncle Al and impossibly Blaze, Jack and Pete, debate the aquatic movements of giant robots in Pacific Rim. There's only one reason Hollywood goes to Utah, Sundance. Gray Drake gives her best films from the not Butch Cassidy Film Festival. Ben Lyons reviews new movies, Grace Randolph recaps the Golden Globes, and Marlon Wayans stops by to talk about a haunted house. Devin Faraci is on location in Park City for everything badass that Sundance has to offer. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.